Assalamu alaikum, dear students. Hope you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIEBS Homeschool. This is Fatima Sabrin Shikha, Assistant Teacher of National Ideal English Version School Morning Ship. Today I am going to take home science class for the students of class 7 on chapter 3 Principles of Making Home Beautiful and Attractive. Students, Today we will learn the summary of lesson 1 and 2. So let's start our class. Making home beautiful and attractive is a part of art. Art is created with elegant objectives for human welfare. When these objectives are achieved in decorating a home, it then gets the status of art. The decoration inside a house is called interior decoration. Mark the line. The decoration inside a house is called interior decoration. So you will get the question what is interior decoration. It will be knowledge based question. Now lesson 1 elements of art. We will learn about lesson 1. Whatever we see around us has color, shape, surface, texture, and line, etc. These are the elements of creating an art. It means whatever is used in the creation of art is called element of art. Okay, now color. We see many kinds of colors around us. Mainly the color is divided into three kinds. How many kinds? Three kinds. We find three kinds of color. They are primary color, secondary color and tertiary color. Now we will discuss about primary color. The color which cannot be made from other colors is known as primary color. So what is primary color? The color which cannot be made from other colors is known as primary color. That means the basic color. Red, blue and yellow are the primary colors. Again here the question arises, what are the primary colors? Keep in mind that red, blue and yellow. These three are primary colors. Now secondary color. When two primary colors of equal amount are mixed, it is called secondary color. If I ask you what is secondary color, you can answer when two primary colors of equal amount are mixed, it is called secondary color. Now look, we know that primary colors are red, blue and yellow. So now we will mix red and yellow, then we will find the color orange. If we mix yellow and blue, the color will be green and blue and red creates the color purple. Now tertiary color, when an equal amount of primary and secondary color are mixed, it is called tertiary color. It means when we will mix primary color and secondary color, it will be tertiary color. Red plus orange will make reddish orange. Yellow plus green will make yellowish green. If I ask you reddish orange, which color makes? Answer will be red plus orange. Now color will. A color is made by arranging 12 colors in a circular way. The characteristics of primary, secondary and tertiary colors are understood clearly by a color wheel. So we learn about three types of colors and in the color wheel we find these three types of colors. Warm colors. The bright colors of the color wheel are known as warm color. So the question is what is warm color? When we find bright colors of the color wheel, we will call it warm color. 
Now we learn about the uses of warm colors. First, the use of warm color brings the feelings of warmth in an environment. Second, warm colors bring the things next that are in front of the eyes. Last one, the use of warm or bright colors makes the size of room look small. So these points are important for answering your CQ or creative question. So you, know, you can write the uses of warm colors from here. Now cool colors. The light colors of the color wheel are called cool colors. Then again the question is what is cool colors or define cool colors. You can write the light colors of the color wheel are called cool colors such as blue, bluish green, green. So these are cool colors. When you see blue or green, we feel comfort. Now we'll learn about the uses of cool colors. The use of cool colors gives the feeling of a cool, calm, quiet and pleasant environment. A cool color takes the things far away that are in front of the eyes. Last, the use of cool or light colors makes the room look large. Now we we'll learn about light. Light is one of the most important elements of art. We learn about art and our chapter is about art. So here we are saying that line is one of the most important elements of art. Any movable dot is called a line. Mark the line. Any movable dot is called line. We find curved line, vertical line and others line. Curved lines have created a new effect like curved line, vertical, horizontal and zigzag lines play important role to decorate home more effectively. When you use these lines to decorate your home, you will see the difference and effectiveness of your home. Now form. If the form is not right, it will be not a beautiful art. So form is important for a beautiful art. There are two kinds of forms. How many kinds of forms? Yes, two kinds of forms. What are they? They are free shape or form and geometrical form. So we find two kinds of forms and they are free shape or form and geometrical form. We will not get comfort to sit on if the form or shape of the chair is not right. So here we are saying about our comfort. If we sit on a chair and if it doesn't comfortable for us, it can't be suitable for our sitting. Variation can be created by using different shapes. You can make variation if you use these different shapes. Now we'll learn about texture. The characteristics of the surface of a material is termed at as texture. So again, the question arises, what is texture? You can answer from the characteristics of the surface of a material is termed as texture. Texture is one of the elements of creating art. It plays a big role to create warm and cool environment. If we use things of different texture separately in different seasons, for example, winter and summer, it will make our home more attractive. So we'll use different shapes and different designs in different seasons. Now we'll learn about lesson two, principles of art. In chapter 1, we learn about the elements of art and now we learn about principles of art. If anything is made, keeping the requirements in mind, it will be attractive to look at and fulfill the specific need. The principles that are essential to create 
earth are called principles of earth. The principles of earth are proportion, balance, harmony, rhythm, emphasis. So, how many principles of earth are there? There are five principles of earth. Proportion, balance, harmony, rhythm, emphasis. Now, we will learn about these kinds. First, proportion. This principle is followed for making a creation attractive and durable. Proportion states the relation between the parts of an objective and their size, shape and ratio. It is something that should be perceived. Now, balance. Balance can be created by keeping the object of the same weight on both sides that are equal in distance from the center of it. Harmony. After entering a house, we find a relation among floor, furniture, curtain, etc. And anything does not look inappropriate, then we find harmony in home decoration. It means when we enter our home and if we find everything, our furniture, floor, curtain and other elements, okay, then it will make harmony and comfort for us. This can be relation between the object and other elements. Now, rhythm. Rhythm is an attractive way to way of movement. Our vision should not be obstructed when we look at any art. The rhythmic movement can be created by the repetition of the things. When we repeat the things again and again, we find rhythm. Rhythm makes an art continuous and lively. So, if we want to make continuous and lively, we have to use rhythm. Emphasis for creating artistic thing. One part is given more importance than the other parts of an arrangement. In any arrangement, one special part is given emphasis. Students, that's all for today. I have given your homework. Do your homework as 15 MCQ in your homework copy. Submit your SW copy on copies on every Sunday. Guardians or anyone else from your family can submit these copies and collect these copies on next Sunday. Your diary, CT and SB marks will be given on the basis of the submission of your SW copy. So please submit your SW copy on due time. That's all. I hope you will read the text at home again and again. See you again. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.